सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू द टी सी एस एन क्यू टी डी एस ए कोडिंग राउंड प्ले लिस्ट इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट वी विल बी कवरिंग ऑल द प्रीवियस ईयर कोडिंग राउंड क्वेश्चन विच विल हेल्प यू टू सॉल्व ड्यूरिंग यूर एग्जाम जस्ट इन केस इफ यूर न्यू टू अवर चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर सच इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज नाउ लेट्स गो एंड चेक वॉट इज द टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज सो वट डज द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट वी हैव गिवन एन आरे ऑफ साइज एन एंड वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वी नीड टू काउंट द एलिमेंट्स हुज वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर दैन all of its prior element okay let me explain you the meaning of the question see if you consider the 8 8 is greater than all the elements towards its left right whatever the elements we have towards its left 8 is greater than all the elements so we will increment the counter as 1 now if i go at 9 i can see that 9 is greater than all the elements towards its left so again my counter will increase again if i have this 9 this 9 is greater than or equal to all the elements to its left so simply i will increment my counter they have also given that the first element of array is always consider as a answer therefore our again it will become plus 1 because we have to consider the first element of my array as well so the final answer is 4 and this is what we need to return what i need to return is we need to count the total number of elements whose all the elements towards is left are smaller than it are smaller than it right so i hope so you understood the meaning of the question now let's try to check what is the brute force solution for our problem now what does the problem says that how many elements are there how many elements are there such that all the elements towards is left are less for example for example 2 because they have told us to consider the first element so this will be the first element 9 is my second element because all the elements towards is left are less than 9 is my 6 is element no because 6 is not greater than 9 is 3 my element no because 3 is not greater than 6 is 2 my element no is 8 is my element 8 is greater than 2 greater than 3 greater than 6 but not greater than 9 so 8 will not be my answer 9 will be my answer because it is greater than or equal to all the elements towards is left and 10 will also be my answer because it is greater than all the elements towards is left so one thing is for sure i know that i have to consider the first element so what i will do is i will simply keep the counter which is initialized to 1 which is this one this consider as first element so i will basically start with the second element so what i will do is i will simply start with the second element and i will go till last and i will simply do i plus plus right so i am standing at here and now what i will do is say for example if i am standing at here i will go from this position till zero i will come and checking if my 3 is greater than all the elements for example suppose if you are standing at 8 this is your i from 4 to 0 i will check is my 8 greater than all the elements if my i is at 6 from 5 to 0 i will come and check if my 9 is greater than or equal to all the elements right so what i will do is i will simply have one more that is j equals to i minus 1 right why i minus 1 because if i am standing at 6 i will start checking from 5 and i will come till 0 so same way i minus 1 and i will come till 0 and i will simply do j minus minus now what i need to do is I need to check whether my nine is greater than or equal to all the elements towards is left. But at any point, even if there is a single element, for example, if we check eight, eight is greater than two, greater than three, greater than six, and greater than nine. So at any point, at any point, if we find the number which is greater than the eight, we will stop there and there only because eight is not greater than all the elements towards is left. We have found one number which is greater than eight, right? So we have to stop it. so what i will do is i will basically keep one flag which is initialized to which is initialized to true which is initially initialized to true and then what i will do is inside this i will check if at any point if a of j is becomes greater than i if at any point right i my i was here and my j came at here so at any point if my 9 becomes greater than 8 i have to stop because 8 is not greater than all the elements towards is left so what i will do is i will simply initialize the flag to as false and simply i will break it out because there is no any point checking any other further elements so once i come out this for loop i will check if my flag is true if my flag is true then and then only i will simply do count plus plus and once i will do i will simply print what i will do is i will sorry i will simply print the count i will simply print count so this is the brute force solution let's take a dry run for this so what i will do is let's suppose if i am standing at 9 i am standing at 9 what will happen my j will start from 5 till 
is it 8 i will say 8 is greater than 9 no is my 2 2 greater than 9 no 3 greater than 9 6 greater than 9 9 greater than or oh, it should be greater than right right is my 9 greater than 9 you said no so this condition will not be true right again i came at 2 is my 2 greater than 2 greater than 9 no so this condition never become satisfied therefore my flag will still remain true so once my flag is still true i will simply increment the counter and i will simply print once i am done with all the loops so what will be the total time complexity so this loop will run for big of n time and in worst case this loop will also run for big of n time so what will be the total time complexity so total time complexity would be big o of n square big of n square now this will surely give us a time limit exceeded and it will not help us to pass out all the test cases so now let's check out how we can optimize this code now let's try to optimize our code now what i will do is what i will do is one thing is for sure that my first element is always considered in our answer so what i will do is i will simply keep the counter as one and I'll let's suppose i am keeping a variable which is num right simply i'm keeping a variable called as num and i have initialized with 2 because the 2 is always considered in our answer right then what i will do is i'll simply come at 9 now i will check is my 9 greater than 2 is my 9 greater than 2 you said yes you said yes because 9 is greater than all the elements and what does this num says max element from left side whatever the max element we get from left side we will store it into the num so i will come here is my 9 greater than 2 because till 9 till 9 the 2 is was the maximum element and 9 becomes maximum than 2 which means can i say that 9 will greater than all the elements towards his left you said yes so simply increment the counter and now assign 9 to num okay now you come at 2 now sorry now we come at 6 now we'll check is my 6 greater than 9 no now observe carefully what is 9 so 9 is a maximum element from the first till the index 1 first till index 1 so 6 is not greater than 9 therefore i will not consider this okay simply go ahead now i come at 3 again i will check is my 3 greater than 9 no what does 9 indicate so 9 is a maximum element from 0 till index 2 from 0 till index 2 we are simply storing the maximum element and 3 is not greater than 9 so simply ignore it simply ignore it and go to the next again 2 is not a maximum element than 9 so again simply ignore and go next is my 8 is my 8 greater than 9 you said no you said no what does 9 indicates the maximum element from index 0 to 4 from index 0 to 4 the maximum element is 9 right 2 9 6 3 2 which one is the maximum 9 and this is what we have stored inside the num variable so again go ahead because 8 is of no use then i came at 9 is my 9 greater than or equal to 9 you said yes you said yes so simply increment the counter and again reinitialize to 9 because anyhow it was 9 so it will remain as a 9 okay now go ahead to the next location go to the next location i will check is my 10 greater than 9 is my 10 greater than 9 you said yes now observe carefully 9 is a greater element of all the elements from the, to the left side of 10 whatever the elements we are there to the left of 10 out of which 9 is a maximum and anyhow 10 is becoming greater than 9 so therefore this will also be considered in our answer and finally num will be again reinitialized with the maximum element and now i have completely traversed the array and i have found my answer has to be 4 and this is what our answer is right 2 is answer 9 is the second answer because it is greater than all the elements towards his left this 9 is also greater than or equal to all the elements towards his left and this is the 10 which is greater than or equal to all the elements towards his left so this will be the 4 will be our answer okay so let's go and try to write the pseudocode for this so what will be the pseudocode what i have done is we have kept the counter which is initialized to 1 then we have num which we have initialized the 0th element right 0th element so from where we will start we'll start from the second element and we will go till the last index of my array and what i will check what i will check if at any point if a of i become greater than or equal to num then simply i will increase the counter by one one because that is the number which is greater than all the elements towards his left and also i will reinitialize num with maximum element so this question can i say that this question is nothing but 
finding the maximum element how many maximum element are there in my array right so this was the small pseudo code for today's problem now what will be the total time complexity this simply we are running the loop for n time simply we are running the loop for n time therefore the total time complexity would be big of n time so i hope so you understood the approach for this problem now let's go on to the ide and check the code for java and c++ so this is the java code i wrote so basically what i did is we got the array and the size of an array i simply kept the counter 1 and i have the max value right and what i'm doing is simply first of all i will initialize this max value with the first element of my array and again i'm starting with the second element i will check if this element is greater than max i will simply increase the counter and i will assign the error to the max so in this way i will keep on doing and once i come out of this loop i will simply print the count so this was the most easiest problem there was no any big complication present in this problem so i hope so the java people has understood this implementation now let's move on to c implementation in c++ so this is the c++ implementation again the same thing i have the count the max is initialized to 0 which will keep it to the first element and then again we will start from the second element of my array and i will check if any element is greater than the max i will simply increase the counter and i will assign it to the arr right and simply i will print the count so this was the most easiest problem so just in case if you're new to our channel do subscribe the channel if you have understood the problem let me know in the comment box and like the video till then see you in the next video